Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good morning to you, Ranking Member Ice, uh, members of the uh, committee. I'm very pleased to be here today to have the opportunity to talk about GAO's views and suggestions regarding the first set of recipient reports filed under the Recovery Act. Given the national scope of this activity and a relatively limited time frame to stand up the original reporting system, we think it was a good uh, first start. However, there are a number of significant data quality uh, and reporting issues that must be addressed. Uh, based on our initial analysis, for example, of the uh, database that was released on October 30th, uh, we found that there were some uh, erroneous or questionable uh, information uh, in the database that merits additional scrutiny. Uh, for example, we found about 4,000 reports that uh, had no money expended, uh, but yet claimed over 50,000 FTEs that had been reported. There are other reports where money has been expended, uh, but the uh, um, no FTEs have been reported uh, under those reports. So this needs additional scrutiny and examination to determine uh, the validity of that information. Uh, secondly, the coverage, uh, OMB estimates that about 90 percent of the recipients reported, but questions remain about the remaining 10 percent of the recipients that uh, should have reported uh, but potentially uh, did not. There's also questions about the quality of the review uh, that was done by federal uh, departments and agencies and by prime recipients. While over 75 percent of the reports were reviewed by federal agencies, uh, close to one in five uh, were not, uh, and far fewer reviews were done and documented in the system by the prime recipients, and so that needs further inquiry uh, and investigation as well. Uh, another uh, problem that we identified, and this was a, a, a fairly significant one, dealt with the different interpretations of full-time equivalent positions that were due to be reported. There was a lot of inconsistent application uh, regarding this, especially as it related to the time period in which people made the calculations. Uh, this area, uh, because of the different interpretation, really compromises the ability to aggregate the information uh, across the recipient reports. Now, we made a series of recommendations to OMB to work with uh, the Recovery Board and federal departments and agencies. Uh, first is to clarify and standardize the definition of full-time equivalent positions and set a standard period of measurement so the information can be collected and accumulated uh, consistently and, and, and properly. Also to be clearer in the guidance about the fact that the reporting focuses on hours worked uh, that need to be uh, reported in a consistent manner. We also believe that given the issues that we and others have identified, that OMB should work with the federal agency establishment and with the prime recipients to review lessons learned under this first reporting uh, exercise and reevaluate their quality assurance uh, and reporting approaches uh, to make necessary modifications uh, to ensure that these data quality and reporting issues are addressed uh, successfully. Uh, because this is a uh, cumulative reporting uh, approach uh, and GAO is required to review each of the quarterly reports that are filed by the recipients acts, we will be following up uh, on this, conducting additional analysis and making uh, further reports to this committee and to the Congress regarding the extent to which these data quality and reporting issues are addressed. I think it's important to address these issues both for the current set of recipients that are filing reports, but also there'll be new recipients that were not filed, did not have to file reports now as the recovery money gets spent over fiscal year 2010 and 2011, there'll be many more recipients uh, filing and those areas need to be addressed as well to prevent future problems from emerging in this area. So I thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for the opportunity to summarize our findings. I'd be happy to respond to questions at the appropriate point in time. Thank you very much, Mr.